Hi guys, it's your girl L to the I to the Z. Stay tuned, it's your time. So last time, you remember we did Camp Rock 1. So today we're continuing from where we left off. We're doing Camp Rock 2. Okay, so guys, I hope you remember Michi from Camp Rock 1. I mean, we're basically dealing with the same person. So yeah, Michi is so excited about camp this year and she can't wait to meet her friends, especially Shane. I think they exceeded the friend, you know, line but let's see those two actually had something going on after last summer so on your way to campgrounds michi and her mom remember her from camp rock one too that's connie is it torres yeah so yeah basically michi and her mom are having a conversation about how she can't wait to get to camp until she gets distracted by this what is that did somebody open another camp yeah you heard that right someone opened a camp right across the lake next to Camp Rock. Exciting. Seriously, why would somebody open up another camp across the lake? Oh, who knows, but I don't think it's anything to worry about. Well, we're gonna find out if that is actually nothing to worry about. So yeah, Michi is basically on campgrounds as you can see and she reunites with her girls. And talking of her girls, I hope you remember Caitlyn, Peggy, Ella, and of course you remember Tess Tyler. I mean, who can't remember Tess Tyler? Yeah, so Tess Tyler actually became good in the ending of Camp Rock 1. I totally forgot to fill you in on that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Nothing is going on. That's a total lie. You guys are obsessed. <laughs> so last year, the campers were joined by a celebrity instructor, Shane Gray. So today, this summer, this year, they are privileged to be joined by three of them. All three of Connect 3 are here to stay. And I know you remember Connect 3, I mentioned that in the as in the previous video I posted. There was Shane Gray, Jason Gray, and Nate Gray. Connect 3. So Shane and Mitchy unite to we're hoping to see more from those two this year. I know you're waiting for more. Surprise! <laughs> All the campers are you know, gathered to meet Mr. Brown. Yeah, he has an announcement, a few announcements for them, you know, that kind of thing when we come back to a place and then there's all this, you know, talk, this plenty talk, yeah. Talking of Mr. Brown, I didn't talk of him last summer, but yeah, you basically saw him. So Mr. Brown is the owner of Camp Rock. Yeah, and I forgot to add, he's Shane's uncle, Shane Gray, yeah. Yeah, so like I said, everyone is listening to Mr. Brown and then... Nice. Chocolates from Campster. I think there's more to that. So Campster just invited Camp Rock to a bonfire. What an invitation. Quite mind-blowing, right? Well, I don't think Mr. Brown is as happy as the campers are. This is a setup for what I'm not sure. Come on, Brown. So Mr. Brown thinks that all this is a setup. But we can't jump into conclusions yet, can we? So as expected, the campers jump across the lake to the other side to visit Camp Star. Wow. This isn't a camp, it's a it's a resort. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> resort? Man, I'm as shocked as you are. Next up, we are meeting Axel Turner, the director of Camp Star. Quite competitive, ruthless, and delusional. So Axel's camp is all about producing the superstars of tomorrow. But Mr. Brown is going the, you know, fun way. He's all about helping them to actually appreciate what music actually is. But I guess there's a little more history to Brown and Axel. So Brown and Axel were in the same band, I think some years ago, and Axel was kicked out of the band. So I guess it's about time for payback. If there are any Camp Rock counselors or staff who'd like to make the switch, I'd be more than willing to double your salary. Wow. When you got the opportunity, you shoot your shots. 
So Axel is cunning enough to make such an offer. He's doubling the salary of any staff willing to make a switch to Campstar. That is quite an offer. I mean, I'm definitely up for that. And he's not only taking the staff, he's taking campers too. Alright, so next up we're meeting a new character. There's Dana, Axel's daughter. Yeah, so Dana is highly interested in Nate. I mean, it's so obvious. And I think Nate is actually feeling her too. But Axel is not so happy about that. I, I don't want you talking to that boy. Don't worry. I don't think it's going to be a problem. And then there's another character. Um, What's his name? Yeah, Luke Williams. So Luke Williams, big talent with an ego to match. Luke Williams is the lead singer of Camp Star. Ugh, this guy feels so fly about himself. But I think he's nice. And I'm actually not surprised about Tess Tyler moving to Camp Star. I mean, are you surprised? I'm not. Things are not going too well back at Camp Rock. I can't believe I have to say this. Camp Rock is closed. Effective immediately. No, no. What a bummer. I mean, we just got here. Camp has not even started yet. But you know what? Teens will always be teens. Back down, we can't back down. Yeah, it looks like these campers aren't backing down anytime soon. And it looks like I should call this staff meeting to order. Yeah. Yes! Camp Rock is back. So yeah, a few of the campers, or I think all of them, volunteered to actually be campers and workers at the same time. Well, things don't seem to be going well in the beginning, but things work out after some time until this happens. Actually, Camp Wars is what is happening. Camp Wars, what is that? Um, it's a battle between campsters and Camp Rock, yeah. But Brown is not happy about this. He knows he's not up for this. We are gonna look like a joke next to Camp Star. We don't have the resources, the infrastructure, the money. So Mitchie feels like everything is up to her now since she's the one who got them into this big mess. So she's working herself out too much. She's not having any fun at all. And she's not allowing any of the campers to have fun either. So yeah, I mean, what is camp without fun? And Shane is not happy about this. It's... And the water balloon fight, I mean, what were you thinking? I was thinking, wow, wouldn't it be nice to have a little fun? So you're saying I'm not fun? <laughs> Why do I even keep trying? But you know these couples, you know? They fight today, tomorrow they're coming back. Change a single note. No, no. It's what I tried to say all the... And then there's another love story going on at Camp Star behind Axel's back. So if you wanna know, here it goes, gonna tell you there's a part of me a show If we're close, gonna let you see everything But remember that you asked for it Okay, seriously, enough of the lovey-dovey, I mean, let's get to business Camp Wars is happening Yeah, Final Jam is happening And, you know, after a lot of rehearsals and practice The campers claim they're ready for this now everything depends on the audience yeah they have to vote for who they want to win i mean everything is happening live on tv and everything yeah axel really got something coming but it looks like there's already a winner even before final jam begins how come i just got a text telling me to vote for camp star well, i just got one too um it's asking me if i want to download camp star song as my ringtone money my friend they say can do anything but that is so not true. I mean, Camp Rock may have lost the show, but they won the people's hearts. Please, can you put us on the list? This place is so much more fun. I'm sure we can work something out. Axel actually did Brown a lot of good in the end. They say, what goes around comes around. This is our summer. This is our song. Indeed, this is our summer, this is our song. Camp Rock for you. Till we meet again guys, it's bye for now.